review. It's a little older than some of the movie than the movie we just uh, reviewed. We are going to talk about Red Rocket, written and directed by Sean Baker, and starring and the return of Simon Rex, uh, who some of you might remember as a VJ on MTV all those years ago, or for some other eagle-eyed. He was also in the Scary Movie franchise. Uh, I don't know how many of those because I stopped watching after part two, so I couldn't tell you. But also, if you ever watch the Amanda Bynes series, What I Like About You, he also starred in that. Um, this film is basically about a, I guess, porn pimp, uh, you could say, you know, suitcase pimp, um, who basically loses everything in Los Angeles and has to go back to his hometown of Texas and tries to live with his ex-wife, who was who he made basically a porn star. And now she's retired and trying to live a normal life. And he goes there supposedly to hide out and start a new life, but it's only a amount of time before he spots what he thinks is new talent. And he uh, basically starts grooming this girl to be his new porno actress. Um, this movie is, it, it, it's subversive because at one point you really think he's turned over a new leaf and is going to do things more positive. But then in the third act, there's a twist there which throws everything off, but it kind of throws everything off for the better because it makes the film feel more realistic than this whole, oh, he, he's a horrible person but has a heart of gold and might turn over a new leaf or he might decide you know, to be a decent human being. And the third act really shows, unfortunately, people, some people just don't change no matter what. And what I like about the film, well, I love all Sean Baker films, even though this film isn't his strongest, I would say, out of all the films he's made. But this film, what I find interesting always is his casting of non-actors because they give grounded performances because they don't come with any baggage from movies you might have seen them in before. So it feels always fresh and new. And they seem like more, they seem, they feel more realistic. The only time in this movie that feels like a false note, but it's for a comedic reason, is when uh, the girl he's trying to groom, her boyfriend's family comes to fight him. And, you know, they're all, like, kind of thugged out. And I was like, this feels more of an invention of comedy than something natural. But other than that, the film is, you know, worth watching. Great drama. Didn't know Simon Rex had this type of performance in him. Uh, the only, I will admit, the sex scenes are a little disturbing even though in real life the actress is 25 but she looks so young she look really does look like a teenager so that is some hard watching and i also appreciate the film for its many uses of an nsync song throughout you know i'm not the biggest nsync fan but that song is catchy as hell uh, uh andre what did you think of red rocket um so I went into it thinking it was going to be a straight comedy. And then once I realized it was sort of like the mix of a comedy and a drama, I'm not going to lie. I was a little depressed by it, you know, especially by the <laughs> end when this guy clearly is not going to go anywhere with his life. And I felt like Simon Rex was very good. You know, overall, I love the cinematography. I did like the fact that there were very natural performances in it and just the absurdity of his situation but yeah it just was like like you said the relationship between him and the young girl working yes. in the donut shop is so uncomfortable to watch yeah it's like i know she's of age but the way that she looks to him and he's like probably like 40 50 something it just is like oh i i can't it, it's just so hard to watch and um you know, and then see him like kind of get his comeuppance near the end with the, the weed dealer and have to give them their money back. It was just, I'm not saying like, look, every movie that I have to watch has to be uplifting and have like a nice yeah. wrap around. But this was just like, it starts kind of down and goes further down for me. And I just, I can't recommend it for anybody. It's just, it wasn't really my cup of tea. 
Um, I will admit it's very disturbing. It's very uncomfortable. Um, I will say, see, I, it's hard because again, I like the director and I like his movies. I'm not going to say I wouldn't recommend it, but I would give a strong warning for those who want to watch the film. Like I warn you, if you've seen a Sean Baker film before, you know what you're in for. You know, it's going to be, it's going to have comedic moments, but like you said, it's going to be very serious and down. And if you feel like you can handle that, definitely go for it. But also, if you think you might be uncomfortable with that type of scene, those sexual scenes, maybe this isn't uh, the type of film for you or not the film for you. So having said that, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's good filmmaking, but I can understand if, like, I understand you not recommending it, and I can understand why some people might not like that movie this movie so and the one thing i will say above all else is that simon rex gives a great performance throughout because yeah. the whole thing is i've never seen somebody with so much energy on screen who's not on something <laughs> you know because <laughs> his character is just like like a rabbit always jumpy and you know just so enthusiastic no matter what is happening i think maybe if he was in a harmony corine film maybe that would have been maybe a little more natural for <laughs> him it, but like I said, I could see why people were pushing for him for a Best Actor nomination, but I don't think half the voters would have sat through this movie. <laughs> you know? Um, so that is a, a sort of recommend with uh, reservations from me and a no recommendation mm -hmm. from Andre. Uh, 